United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres arrived in Borodyanka, Ukraine, on Thursday after visiting Moscow and meeting Russian President Vladimir Putin. Guterres is scheduled to meet President Volodymyr Zelensky later after visiting Borodyanka. In the city, the UN chief was shown the damage caused in the city by the recent conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Through his meeting with Putin on Tuesday, they agreed in principle to UN and International Committee of the Red Cross participation in the evacuation from a besieged steel plant in the battered Ukrainian city of Mariupol. The sprawling Azov-style complex, which has been almost completely destroyed by Russian attacks, is the last pocket of organized Ukrainian resistance in Mariupol. An estimated 2,000 troops and 1,000 civilians are said to be holed up in bunkers underneath the wrecked structure. Multiple rockets have hit a residential neighborhood in Kharkiv on Wednesday afternoon, killing one person and injuring at least two others. The neighborhood has been hit daily by Russian forces, and while many people have evacuated, some residents remain either unable to evacuate or unwilling to leave their homes. Residents described the Russian troops shoot during the day, but when the evening came, the situation was scary. Kharkiv is Ukraine's second largest city, lies in the northeast outside the Donbass. But it is seen as key to Russia's apparent bid to encircle Ukrainian troops in the Donbass from the northeast and south. While U.S. National Guard troops were preparing military equipment to send to Ukrainian forces on Wednesday. Footage released by the Indiana National Guard showing them preparing M113 armored carriers. The M113 is an older armored carrier dating back to the 1960s and the height of the Cold War between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. But footage shows the armored carriers appear to still run battle ready. In the footage, guardsmen checking their threads, engines, and other equipment before loading them onto trucks to send to the Ukraine. Several Western nations have been sending military hardware to Ukraine to help the country fight Russian forces following the February invasion.